ago, the motorist was a social outcast who ripped along at such a high speed that some villages required an officer of the law to clear the way in front of him with a flag. In those days, the road had to be cleared of pedestrians for the benefit of the motorist. But today, we often clear the road of motorists for the benefit of the pedestrian. Safety for the pedestrian has been steadily improved in spite of the traffic load which has been added to our streets in the last 40 years. To our schoolboy safety patrols must go a lion's share of the credit, not only for what they have done in the past, but also for what they are doing for the future. These boys take a regular course of study to qualify for their job and are trained by men experienced in traffic problems who meet with them frequently and give them both instruction and practical demonstrations in pedestrian safety. Hello, honey. Hi, Pete. Hi there, Sergeant. How you doing? You should know. You saw me working. <laughs> Going down the street? Sure. Well, what do you think of traffic work, Pete? Like it? Oh, sure. That is, I like handling the kids all right. But the men and women give me a pain in the neck. You mean the drivers? the drivers so much. It's the men and women walking. Some of them ought to get the same training that we have in the patrol. You're right, Pete. I wish we could send them all to school. Who do you think of the worst? Gosh, I don't know. Some of them are pretty bad. Remember the time he gave us the speech on where to walk? Sure. That was lesson number one. Well, I see more older people doing those things wrong. Now, we kids are taught never to cut catty corner across two streets at an intersection. We know we're going to be safer if we take one street at a time. And we know we're going to be more likely to get where we're going. Yes, sir. And then there's another thing that seems hard for men and women to get. And that's not to cross the street in the middle of the block. Of course, we get all this dope told to us in school. But our dads and mother get all mixed up over a little thing like wait until you come to the corner before you try and cross the street. You'd be surprised. It doesn't surprise me at all, Pete. Women are very careless that way. I suppose even your wife does it sometimes. <laughs> well, I suppose maybe she does. I see the men doing some awful crazy things, too. Like, for instance, uh, well, stepping out from between parked cars. Of course, anybody that steps out from between parked cars is crossing the street in the middle of the block. Which is against rule number two. Yes, sir. If you'll watch the kids coming out of school some afternoon, you'll see so many of them that you'll be almost sure that one of them will run into the street from between parked cars. But none of them ever do it. That's because you fellas in the safety patrol are doing good work. But one of our toughest jobs is to keep the fellas from playing games in the street. You'll see the men doing it, but the kids are getting wise to themselves, and they beat it straight for the playground. Someday, Pete, we'll even have more playgrounds for you. We sure can use them. week's meeting when you gave us the rule for where to walk on a country highway? I sure do. Do you remember it? Oh, sure. That one was easy. All you got to remember is to walk on the left side of the highway so you can see what's coming on your side of the road. There's just one more thing about where to walk, Sergeant. Now you're talking. It's about getting out of the wrong side of a car and running across the street. Right. Well, sir, you know, my old dad forgets that one. Wait a minute, Pete. I'm going across the street and get some cigars. Hold on, Dad. We'll have to get your dad to attend one of our weekly meetings. 
Pete, you've had lots of chances to watch grown-up pedestrians. How do you think they are about obeying traffic signals? Some of them are pretty bad. You gave us three things to remember. But I notice a lot of men and women don't know them. Or they forget them. For instance? Well, take the first one, which was doing what we did just now. Always stop for a red light and never try to cross that street until that light turns green. We kids know these lights are for people walking, as well as for folks who drive cars. And we wait for the green light, even if there isn't any traffic in sight. Then the next thing to remember is to keep your eyes peeled for drivers making right turns. Just having the green light ahead of you doesn't always mean that you have a free ticket to the other side of the street. You're right. And that goes whether there's a light or not. Then last of all, is that stuff about timing. If we get to a cross street when the signal has been go for some time, we won't try to race across before it changes to stop. We kids are trained to figure things so that we won't get caught between signals. We wait for the next change. And then go across with time to spare. Pete, you really know your stuff. Come on over to the store a minute. We'll take the underpass. Say, wouldn't it be something if we could cross every street this way? Well, they're building a lot of these now, and just for the sake of pedestrians, too. It'd make things a cinch for the people walking. We fellas on the safety patrol could take it pretty easy. Nothing doing, Pete. You're all doing too good a job. The safety patrol is teaching folks all over the country how to be safe pedestrians. Every single one of them deserve a treat. Come on in here and I'll buy you a soda. Gosh, do you mean that? I sure do mean it, Pete. Gee, thanks a lot, Sergeant. What'll it be? Make mine a chocolate soda. What'll yours be, Sergeant? Double it. Gee, a double soda. Thanks a lot, Sergeant. Uh, well, you... Oh, you bet. You bet. Double sodas for us both. Now, Pete, let's hear you give the nine rules for pedestrian safety. Well, first, never cross two streets diagonally at the same time. Second, don't cross the street in the middle of the block. Third, never step into the street from between four cars. Fourth, never play in the street. Fifth, always walk on the left-hand side of an open highway. Sixth, never get out of a parked car on the left-hand side. Seventh, stop for the red light walk with the green. Eight. Look out for drivers making right turns. Nine. Time yourself. Don't get caught between lights. That's mighty good work, Pete. You've named them all. Yep. I guess that's all.